in order for the federal government of Nigeria to achieve its goal of self-sufficiency in rice production and thus replace imported rice with locally produced rice by 2018, rice mills need sufficient amount of quality paddy for processing. To achieve and sustain this, all stakeholders must possess the knowledge of paddy quality checking and must ensure compliance to approved standards. Although there is a standard grading method in Nigeria that can be conducted only in well-equipped laboratories in big mills, we suggest that farmers, paddy dealers and extension agents conduct paddy quality checking using hand tools. This quality checking will help rice farmers, paddy dealers, rice mills, seed suppliers and extension agents evaluate the quality of their paddy against the benchmark of Standards Organization of Nigeria. Knowing the quality of paddy rice helps the farmer to know what needs to be done towards obtaining better quality paddy. There is no denying that higher quality paddy commands higher price in the market and on a bigger picture facilitates our substitution of imported rice with locally planted rice. There are tools for quality checking. All of the tools are mobile. Now we will show the procedure of the quality checking. Sampling Take a random sample of paddy from the lot whose quality you wish to check. Measure 3 grams for moisture content check and 20 grams for other type checks. Use the spare to take sample from bag. Moisture content check. The handy moisture meter is effective for this stage. Set the mode of your meter to paddy. Fill the sieve like dip in the meter tray with paddy. Insert into the meter. Hold in place by turning the lever and take your measurements. Repeat three times and find your average. The acceptable moisture content for paddy rice is between 12% to 14%. Sieving Sieve the 20 gram paddy sample for 30 seconds for most of the popular varieties in Nigeria using a 1.7 mm sieve. Anything that passes through the sieve is categorized as foreign matter. Be sure to shake along the paddy-shaped long openings. Manual Separation Manually pick out organic and inorganic foreign matter that did not pass through the sieve using the pinset, also known as tweezers. Organic foreign matter include immature and empty kernels of paddy. Inorganic foreign matter include other dirt or stones. Aggregation of foreign matter Combine the foreign matter from the sieve process and those from manual separation. Measure and record your results.
do the same for the inorganic foreign matter. Determine the percentage of organic and inorganic foreign matter in the original sample. Husking Using the test husker, remove husk from the clean paddy sample. Fill the husker with paddy and turn the lever in the direction of the arrow. Gently shake the husker to remove brown rice. Repeat the process until you have exhausted the clean paddy sample. Weigh the resulting brown rice and record your results. This husker can separate brown rice from husk. However, if you use this husker inappropriately, the rollers within the husker would be damaged and this should be replaced. Since there are other types of rice huskers, you can select the best husker for you. Separation of immature grains Sieve the brown rice for 30 seconds for most of the popular varieties in Nigeria using a 1.6 mm sieve. The rice that go through the sieve are immature and broken grains. Be sure to shake along the long paddy shaped openings. Manually separate immature rice from broken rice using the tweezers. Take your time for best results. Broken rice less than half the size of a full grain should not be included in immature grains. Weigh the immature grains and record your results. Separation of whole brown rice Brown rice, which did not pass through the sieve, may also contain broken grains. Manually separate whole brown rice from broken rice. Counting grains with problems. Put the separated whole grains in the grain counting pan and remove grains not fitted in the concaves. Make sure to fill all concaves. The counting pan has 100 concaves so you can directly know the percentage of problematic grain types by merely counting them. For this procedure, we have Pest Damaged Grain as 1% Discolored Grain as 1% Red Rice as 8% Analysis of results The purity of the paddy is calculated as the sum of 1 foreign matter, 2 pest damaged grains, 3 discolored grain and 4 immature grains. 
Findings show that the quality of paddy produced in Nigeria is generally below standard. For example, in 2016, the quality of 147 samples from several states were checked. And of the samples checked, only 18 samples were within grade, while the other 129 were out of grade. Since the draft SON standard was adopted in the Technical Committee in February 2017, this would soon come into force, after which out-of-grade paddy can no longer be officially traded. How to improve the quality of paddy If you conduct proper on-farm post-harvest practices, specifically threshing and winnowing, the amount of foreign matter becomes less. If the percentage of the organic foreign matter becomes 0.5%, this sample becomes grade 3. If you use certified seeds from reliable dealers, you can reduce the amount of red rice and also reduce the amount of immature grains. The amount of immature grains can also be reduced through timely harvest. If you conduct good agricultural practices, you can reduce the amount of pest damaged grains. And if you conduct Proper storage and drying. Adequate moisture content is ensured. Knowing the quality of your paddy is the first and very critical step for the improvement of your paddy. Let's start paddy quality checking. 